In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a three point turn. I'm going to show you step by step how to do this with a commercial mower and with the push mower so that you can finally stop putting ruts in your lawn from now on. And it's coming up right here on Polo Fields Lawn Service. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a border around your lawn. Not only will this let you get your edges, but whenever you are doing your three point turn, it will give you enough room to be able to do your turn in. So in basketball, if a player picks up his dribble, this foot right here will be called his pivot foot. This foot, he cannot move. Now the other foot over here, he can move this foot. He can't move his pivot foot, it has to stay in place. If he does, it will be what we call traveling. But his other foot, he can move. Now, do you see what his pivot foot is doing? It's twisting. Unfortunately, we all do this. When we come to the end of our stripe, we will pivot our inside tire and then we'll turn the other wheels all the way around. When we do that, we're creating a divot or what we will call a rut into your lawn, which will basically tear up your grass. And that leads me to my third point where you want to keep your tires moving. Now, even when you're turning around, you're going to come to a stopping point. But when you do come to a stopping point, you want to move all four tires. Remember, we want to get out of the phase where you're pivoting the inside tire and then you're moving the other three. That there is going to make you create a divot in your line. So make sure that you are moving all four tires. So, one is the turn, two is the backup, and three, that's when you proceed to go into your next lane of cutting. Number one, we're driving up till we can't go anymore. We're going to turn into the next lane. We're going to turn into that lane. Don't worry about that lane because we're going to cut that lane. So we're going to go and we're going to turn into this lane. That's one two back up into that lane we lined up we're ready to go three go so you're coming to your end of your lane you're coming into your border you will do your turn and then you'll stop you move all four tires you're back up into the lane that you are about to start cutting and then number three that's when you'll start proceeding forward and this even applies if you're doing a new stripe and you don't have a line to go off of. You will still turn, then you will back up and then proceed forward and continue cutting. Now let me show you how we'll do this with the push mower. Now what if your turning point is a car? that's right there in front of you. Well, what you're gonna use is your border. When you go all the way around your house, you're gonna use your border to be able to turn in so that you won't be going directly into the car or the house or whatever it is you're going up to. Now the same rules apply with the push mower. We all have a habit of lifting the push mower up and then twisting it around like this to proceed into the next lane. Let me show you what this is doing to the turf. You see this little twist right here? You see this twist? Eventually what that's gonna do is that's gonna tear up your grass. Now I know this is on some good standing turf, but eventually that's gonna tear up your grass. That's why you don't pivot your tires. So the wheels on the front of a push mower and the wheels on the front of a commercial mower are going to be different. So when you are doing your turn, you are gonna to have to lift your mower up just a little bit to be able to make that turn. So make the turn into your border lane, then you're going to back up into the lane that you're going to proceed to cut, then you're going to proceed to go forward and going into your next lane. 
So for this example, I can go in the driveway and make my turn, but I'm gonna do it on the grass. So what you want to do is you want to turn into your border lane, make sure that you keep all of your tires moving back into the next lane that you're going to cut, then proceed to cutting forward. Now, what if you make your turn and then when you back into the lane that you're supposed to cut, you're not all the way in that lane? Well, what you do is you just lift your mower up a little bit, scoot it over so that you can be lined up. Then that way you can be able to proceed and go forward and cut. So in completion of this video, you should know how to do a three point turn with your push mower and with your commercial mower. Now remember, the main reason why I made this is to help you prevent from putting ruts in your lawn. I know a lot of people are just used to mowing their lawn a particular way, but when you go back and look at it and you have those spots in your lawn, it's because you're pivoting your tires. So take this information, go out there on your lawn, practice, and make sure that you kill it. That about wraps it up, and we're gonna end it with that catchphrase. One thing's for sure, two things for certain, just know that we work in.